In this tutorial, we're going to be covering a few of the font changes as far as size goes and different fonts to select from. Really simple to do. This, uh, this post here on do-it-yourself themes kind of breaks down the different fonts available with Thesis. Gives you an outlook of what they look like and stuff and how they render on different machines such as Mac and Windows. So we're going to go into the dashboard, thesis, design options. Right underneath the big ass save button, there's fonts, colors, and more. Starting at the top with body and content area, you'll find your selection. In that prior post I just showed you, you have different fonts in here and it talks about the asterisk. These ones are pretty common, common for all system so you're pretty good with those asterisk and a g means it's a google api font which should call from google's library and render out and the ones without it may or may not work depending on the machine rendering it they're less common across all machines so i'm going to select as times no times new roman as my main font throughout the site and leave that as it is now my content area where there's the blog posts and all that stuff you'll have that you can pick the size moving on to the header you can inherit it from the body or select your own as separate so we're going to select this as Arial Black, kind of make it bold to stand out. Of course you got the tagline as well, which if you write one in, it'll be underneath the header when you don't have an actual header image. And that'll be Arial. Collapse that. Headlines. I'm using the headline posts. Go back to Arial Black, Subheadlines, Arial. We'll leave those Arial Black as well. You can tell you right here, subheadlines are H2 and H3 selections when you build your content. Your bylines, we can leave that. Inherited from the body. And when you select, you know, if you're if you're putting code tags around it, this is what it would be automatically. Multimedia box and so forth and so forth. So yeah, you can come in here and select the fonts that you want to use to jazz up your site a little bit. Go ahead and save that. See what it does. All right. So there we have it. And of course, you can definitely dig in deep with the custom CSS to get in and get in here and style the the crap out of it, really and have fun with it. 